Oh my god, I woke up this morning and I saw that a new Animal Crossing trailer dropped and I just about jumped out of my clothes. There was a naked Zack running around and um, yeah, it was really exciting. I thought we were in for a world of fun. I freaked out and I was like, dude, they did the unthinkable. Here we go, Animal Crossing New Horizons doing it once again. The unthinkable, the impossible, a whole new update. This trailer is three and a half minutes long. It's going to be coming out later today. And I cannot wait to share this with all of my fans. And then I zoomed in and I rubbed the sleepies out of my eyes. And I sat down and I said, oh my God. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today we're watching the new Animal Crossing trailer. And we're going to react. And you better give me your take in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you like Animal Crossing. And now, on with the show. Last this music is magical. But the screen... Huge update. Wrong game. Maybe there's a morsel? Maybe there's a hint? We gotta see. Here's More... <laughs> While I have you here, it's not all... Disappointment because I am running a sweepstakes over on Disney Emoji Blitz, a fantastic match three puzzler just pumped with your favorite Disney characters, cool emoji, and the chance to win three $20 eShop gift cards, which you can use for Animal Crossing. All you got to do is download the game using my link in the description down below. Reach level 30, take a pic of your progress, and I'm picking the winner soon, so make sure to get on it. The game is so fun, and it's a whole lot happier than this trailer, all right? An overview of what's in the next update, which is coming soon. I feel like the music is just really trying to get my goat. It's like heavenly angels from above, like, ha, 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 one game is alive, the other is dead. That's the reason we chose this instead. Okay. First things first, the number of animals you can invite to your campsite has increased from eight to 16. Okay, they just freaking doubled the village size. Imagine if we got 20. Let's just like picture all of this actually happening in New Horizons, doubling it up. That's that's a really nice upgrade. That is a big move. That's a lot. That's a lot of animals. 16 of them. That's more than our freaking 16 is more than the villagers we can have on our island. Our entire island only holds 10 and now this stinking campsite holds 16. You can have bigger hangouts. Bigger snowball oh place. my god. Interactability. That's livelier than ever before. Yeah. I wish we could bring some life to our, our island. The villagers have so much personality in pocket camp. And it's supposed to be smaller. Next up is the brand new smart device widget. Now you can place a bit of the campsite on your home screen. The widget changes based on the time of That's day. That's hot. I do like that. That's really cool. So you can put that on your phone, and now you can have Animal Crossing on your phone. Pocket Camp Edition. We don't even have a New Horizons widget. The app for New Horizons has, like, toilet paper. No, like, literally, it has toilet paper. I'm not joking. This isn't me being facetious. You can, you can buy toilet paper with Nook Points. And different animals will appear with messages for you. I love this music. Someone give me this track. Will open the app. Wow. So swing by the campsite anytime you like. I love it. Goldie over there just rocking my world. The next making me fall like in love. Show you is the pocket planner. This is your own planner within the app. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Stickers? Why don't we have stickers? Okay, Nintendo did stickers in a lot of Mario titles like 3D World. And they were actually like, they're like a slight part of the game, but they're really fun and they're well done. And I wish I had them in real life. And now they're adding super cutesy kawaii stickers to pocket camp and it contains things like in-game event schedules and item information with the pocket planner you won't have to worry about forgetting events this would actually be really nice for new horizons with all the extra events and the seasonal holidays that they've added to like kind of keep tabs on them that would be cool and you can check the release dates for items you're interested in because they still get item updates <laughs> gourmet chocolate tier collection that's coming up in a couple days that sounds really sexy. I want some gourmet chocolatier gear to wear around my island. Come on, AC! 
We'll also be introducing a brand new membership plan for Pocket Camp Club. You know I love to spend on AC. And subscribe to the new Merry Memories plan to unlock even more features. That's a cool background. Planner. If you subscribe to this, this plan, is cool. Uh, you can purchase planner designs and customize the planner to fit your style. I like that. Plus, when you first sign up, you'll get to choose one free design as a bonus. All right. I mean, it's a little greedy that you have to subscribe to this just to purchase, but maybe it's purchased in game. Okay, in game, in game bells. All right. Subscribers can also get stickers for the planner from the sticker shop. They're so fun. Oh my gosh. This is like the best emoji set I've ever seen. These are better than a lot of YouTuber emojis. These are so good. There are stickers to suit a variety of occasions and moods. Look at that iridescent diamond. Happy anniversary. It's coming up, AC. Your memories while talking with the animals and make every day a little more fun. All right. They react to the stickers. That's nice. On top of that. <laughs> If you link your smart devices pedometer app, okay. you can also record your daily step count in the planner. If you do a lot of walking, animals might even send you some well-deserved praise. Imagine if we could get prizes for our pedometer. This is basically the equivalent of the exercises though, how we get items, but I, I bet there's more items there. Stitches is like, man, you might have a side stitch, but I'm hooking you up. Good job, girl. Subscribers to the Merry Memories. Wow, what's this? Also get more seasonal event oh gosh, I kind of wish. Like, I know some people don't want to pay for anything else in AC, but I kind of wish we had a seasonal reward package like this. It's like a battle pass or it's like a season pass, but like imagine if there were new items and new gifts and new islands and new villagers and stuff all tied to a reward chart. I'm I'm in at this point. I'm in. Look at what's in store for February. February. Look at that freaking chocolate fortune cookie. I don't think I've ever I think every fortune cookie I've ever had has been the same thing flavor. Are there different flavors? Any fortune cookie fans out there? Are there different flavors? Is that a thing? The Merry Memories plan okay. costs 99 cents per month. Come on, you can't complain. It's less than a buck. You can find that in your couch. Find it in the bottom of your shoe, okay? Find it on the street. 99 cents, man. Give us a 99 cent subscription. And members get 20 leaf tickets per month. Oh my god. We hope this plan will make your campsite experience even better. Please check it out. I don't know if this is exciting or depressing, but I'm leaning towards the latter. The this music though is hot. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp will be available starting Dude, today. play this song at my wedding. Enjoy. Goodness gracious. Available today. They're doing everything the right way. We love that they do it. All right. It's just in the wrong game. Flick, I know. I know, Flick. He's like, man, if my eyes weren't droopy enough, they're droopier. Now, how does this make you feel, my friends? How does it make you feel that Pocket Camp is getting a Kahuna update? And we're over here like, please, sir, can we have some more? Just hoping that Pave brings us a few new items. It's a bit silly, right? Like, we're we're really, really just... I mean, look, 2.0 was great. And, and I, I'm really appreciative and glad that Nintendo kind of just packed it all in. They, they really did the most. And they delivered an awesome revitalization of the community and the game. And brought back so much fun and so many awesome faces. I just, I just feel like there's an opportunity to continue. The player base isn't dead. The player base hasn't gone anywhere. If Pocket Camp can exist for so long... So can ACNH. And look, the, the argument here is that Pocket Camp builds money, right? Pocket Camp gets them income because people are subscribing to their stuff. We would subscribe. How many of you would pay 99 cents a month for an Animal Crossing New Horizons subscription? I bet all of you. A dollar? A freaking dollar? We can all afford that. That would be so darn nifty and so darn nice. And it would make me so darn happy. And yet we sit here just like wishing and hoping and dreaming that Nintendo decides to do something for ACNH. And, and, you know, I don't want to close the door on New Horizons. All right. I know a lot of people are like, it's done. And I've even said that myself. We saw the, the data mine that hinted at a 2.1 winter update. I'm still holding out hope for something along those lines, albeit probably small with Pave. And then we do have the urn of anniversary coming up. The urn anniversary. Yeah, throw this game in an urn. No, it will never be cremated. I want to see this game rise like a phoenix. Give us a cool anniversary update around March 20th. Maybe that's the perfect time to bring in the Zelda villagers. Maybe it's the perfect time to introduce some sort of subscription service. If they're going to say the only way to make development worthwhile on ACNH at this point is to introduce some sort of for pay service, then call me crazy, but I say bring it on. I, I know you would pay 99 cents a month to be able to have new items, to be able to have new rewards. I know you would do that. 99 cents a month. It's just, it's crazy when you wake up and you see this trailer and it's three and a half minutes long and it's for Pocket Camp and they're just pouring new features in like doubling the amount of villagers that can exist in the campsite. 
I mean, freaking just at least double our campsite. We only have one at the campsite. Ten on the whole dang island. What is going on? Close quarters? We got spread out everything. We could use some more houses. And if they're not going to give us more buildings and not going to let us modify resident services, Nook's Cranny, or the Able Sisters shop, the museum has grown, but it hasn't changed appearance. I would love for them to give us more villager slots. I mean, all those things would work really well in ACNH. Like the planner, it's kind of a superficial feature. It's kind of something just for, for kicks and giggles. But at this point, we need more kicks and we need more giggles, right? The pedometer would be an interesting addition and kind of build on what the exercising's done. And, and I know that you really can't do that in this game. Everybody cry for, for my guy over here, all right? Ioni is just stuck with the... I thought it was a small pizza, but it's actually a basket of flowers. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll get that bridge built sometime soon. But in the meantime, look, pedometer won't really work on the Switch, but you could definitely do the planner, you could definitely do the subscription, and you definitely could double up our villager count. Which of those would you want most? And were you also tricked when there was a new Animal Crossing trailer that it could have been something amazing? I mean, it's amazing we're pocket camp, but we're still missing out over here for us guys and girls i miss you i love you we're gonna try to bring more ac action your way i'm gonna do some digging and some sleuthing and see what i can find in the meantime though hit that like button if you wish ac and h would do more let me know your take on today's video in the comments down below i hope you're all doing so well i love you so much i appreciate you our community still rocks together all right we still arm link hand in hand go the distance and i will keep leading us towards positivity happiness and a hope so stay safe stay healthy stay happy stay positive out there my friends i love you so much Switch Force, out.